George Friedrich Handel, superstar. He was not only the most painted musician of his day. In Britain, the German-born composer was also a legend in his own time. After his death 250 years ago, Handel anecdotes began to stack up like manuscripts. The British considered the Baroque composer of opera and oratorio one of their own. He became that wonderful thing, an adopted Englishman who was able to uh, write about the English and express English sentiment in music better than native composers. There are probably two handles in the world. One is handle with an umlaut and one is handle without an umlaut. The handle without an umlaut is definitely the oratorio man. The handle with an umlaut is a an improviser who was trained in the German organ school and uh, left Germany as quickly as possible. We're on the road with Handel specialist Lisette da Silva. This house on Brook Street was Handel's home for 40 years. It was here that Georg Friedrich Handel became George Friedrich Handel. Lisette da Silva and her trio Spirituoso are the ensemble in residence at the Handel House Museum. Yeah, yeah, it needs to. Right into the cadence. Yeah, it needs to start much softer as well, because I think... For the coming year, Lisette da Silva, Nick Stringfellow and Ricardo Barros will give Baroque concerts in the very room where Handel rehearsed his operas. As the story goes, there used to be many, many singers, some of them quarrelling, actually, before um, the operas downstairs. So it would have been quite a lively and vibrant place when he was working. Um, and he was known to be quite a workaholic, so some, a lot would have happened in this place. There's plenty going on this year, and not only at the Handel House. The Royal Opera is doing Assis and Galatea, one of Handel's 42 operas. Ever the astute businessman, Handel gave demanding London audiences exactly what they wanted, including librettos in English. The conductor, Christopher Hogwood, has written a biography of Handel. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you too. He could deliver monumental music with very simple but very strategic means. But he could also write absolutely beautiful small arias in every opera, small duets. Um, so in all forces and in every form, he could provide you with something suitable. Handel is everywhere these days, even on the big screen. On Palm Sunday, the Messiah was relayed live by satellite to cinemas around the world from King's College, Cambridge. The stirring music of Handel can also be heard at the Barbican Center. Concert d'Estray is rehearsing the oratorio, The Resurrection. century saw a radical move of music from the court into the commercial arena and what we see in Handel's lifetime is him taking risks in the commercial arena by putting on operas for the middle classes for the populace and experimenting with those when opera in Italian didn't work very well he then created this whole form of the English oratorio which was a great success the Seta da Silva can never get enough of the genius George I of the House of Hanover ruled Great Britain and Ireland, and Handel from the town of Halle was king when it came to music. Friends like the painter William Hogarth and famous opera singers were always coming to call. On Holy Saturday, 250 years ago, the great composer died in this house in this very bed. He lived everything through his work, his social life. He had 
um, a lot of his friends were writers, were poets, were creative people, and I think he felt well with like-minded people. Handel was also well known for being very witty and very cutting. Witty, magnificent, and very Baroque. Handel's music will continue to move, uplift, and entertain listeners for generations to come. <laughs>